Have you ever wondered how often do banks actually accept short sales offers? You might be a homeowner facing foreclosure or imagine you're actually facing financial difficulties and struggling to keep up with your mortgage payments with the prospect of foreclosure looming large. Alternatively, picture yourself finding your dream home at a fraction of its market value only to discover that it's a short sale and you're like, oh my God! In both scenarios, the burning question remains, well, will the bank actually accept the short sale offer and should you even bother with it? The truth about short sale is far more complex and intriguing than you might think. So let's look into the world of short sales from both perspectives, the homeowners and the buyer's perspectives and reveal the reality behind how often banks actually accept these offers. Sounds fair? Let's go. First, we have to understand that a short sale happens when a homeowner owes more on their mortgage than the current market value of their home. In such cases, the homeowner might have an option to negotiate with the bank to sell the property for less than the outstanding mortgage balance. The bank must approve the short sale and they have to agree to take a loss on the loan. This short sale process can be beneficial for both the homeowners struggling with the mortgage payments and the buyers looking for a good deal. And even in many cases, a short sale is beneficial for the bank as well. But to learn more about what a short sale is and how it works, check out my video, what is a short sale on your house? You should think that this is a no brainer, right? And in this case, the bank should approve and agree to a short sale, right? Well, let's examine the bank's perspectives on this. Banks are not in the business of losing money. So they carefully consider each and every short sale offer. However, they also recognize that a short sale can sometimes be more beneficial than a lengthy and costly foreclosure process. But the key factors banks consider include the current market condition, the offer price, the borrower's financial situation. In this case, we are referring to the current homeowner in distress and the comparative market analysis, which is the CMA. So let's look at each of them to understand it better. So the current market conditions, the banks evaluate the local real estate market to determine if accepting a short sale offer is more advantageous then foreclosure and reselling the property later. Then let's look at the offer price. The offer price must be reasonable and close to the market value. Banks are unlikely to accept offers that are significantly below what they believe they can recover through foreclosure and resale. And then the borrower's financial situation. Banks will review the homeowner's financial hardship. A convincing case for financial distress increase the likelihood of short sale approval. This part is, in my opinion, the most important part in a short sale. In a case of buying a house, the buyer and the seller will agree to the price and terms where in a short sale. In a case of buying a short sale house, the buyer and the seller will agree to the price and terms and the bank that is currently holding the note must agree to the terms already agreed by the seller and the buyer and they also will need to approve and qualify the seller for the short sale. In terms of the comparative market analysis or the CMA, banks often request a CMA to assess the property's value compared to similar homes in the area. This analysis helps them gauge the fairness of the offer agreed between the seller or homeowner to be accurate and the buyer. Think of this as it does not really matter what the homeowner or buyer agree to without the approval of the bank of the price and most importantly, approve the homeowner for selling short, there is no sale. And now on to the success rate of a short sale. On average, about 50 to 70% of short sales offers are accepted by banks. This percentage can be influenced by timing. For instance, banks tend to be more receptive to short sales in a declining market to avoid further losses. Conversely, in a stable or rising market, they may hold out for higher offers. The negotiation skills do matter. Experienced real estate agents or negotiators can significantly impact the success of a short sale by presenting compelling cases to the bank. 
providing thorough and accurate documentation of the homeowner's financial hardship and the property's value is absolutely crucial. Let me tell you about challenges and delays. I've learned early on in 2009 three key steps that are crucial to a successful short sale. One is qualifying a homeowner for the short sale and the willingness to cooperate. If the homeowner is not willing to cooperate, we cannot help the homeowner. It's really important for the homeowner that is looking to do a short sale to cooperate with the realtor or the negotiation person. Number two is having a fully completed and updated short sale package. And number three, do you want to guess what number three is? I'll wait. Dial, dial, and dial until somebody in the loss mitigation department answers the phone. It's not fun to do. Pick up the damn phone! But very necessary. If you are committed to help a homeowner facing losing their home to foreclosure, you must get somebody on the phone. That's what I used to do. Dial, dial, dial. Okay, let's continue. Despite their potential benefits, short sales are notorious for their lengthy and uncertain process. It can take several months to get an approval, and even then, the bank may counter offer or reject the offer altogether. The common challenges to expect include multiple lien holders, Properties with multiple mortgages or liens complicate the approval process, as all parties must agree to the short sale terms. And then the bank's workload, like during periods of high foreclosure rates, banks may be overwhelmed with short sale requests leading to delays and backlogs and appraisals and inspections. Banks often require appraisals and inspections to ensure the offer is fair, so adding more time to the process because of that. Now let's see this from the homeowner's perspective. If you're a homeowner considering a short sale due to mortgage delinquency, the process can be a lifeline to avoid foreclosure and financial ruin. So here are some steps you can take to improve your chances of a successful short sale bank approval. Hire an expert agent. An agent with short sales experience can navigate the process and negotiate with the bank on your behalf. And by the way, listing your house for sale with an agent is a requirement for a short sale. Therefore, you might as well hire an agent who's experienced with short sales, right? And document your hardship. You need to provide detailed documentations of your financial difficulties, including income loss, medical bills, or other significant expenses. And price the house competitively. Work with your agent to price the home close to its market value, making it more appealing to the bank. And be patient and persistent. The short sale process can be long and frustrating, but persistence is key. Stay in communication with your agent and the bank throughout the process and provide updated documentations in a timely fashion, usually every 30 days. And for more detailed advice on dealing with mortgage delinquencies, watch my video, Your Mortgage Payment is Late, Here's What to Do. This comprehensive resource explores various solutions and strategies to help homeowners regain control of their financial situation. And it's from understanding loan modifications options to unveiling the nuances of forbearances plans and repayment programs. Additionally, I shed light on government assistance programs specifically designed to support those struggling with their mortgage obligations. If you have equity in your home but are still struggling to make mortgage payments, consider exploring a cash offer with no obligation to accept it. Selling your home for cash can provide immediate relief and you even have the option to lease the home back on a month-to-month -month timeline. This solution allows you to stay in your home while resolving your financial difficulties. And this is a no-brainer if you ask me, so give it a try. This is the first time a homeowner in distress has the ability to 
keep their equity, get out of the foreclosure, and the best part is you can rent your house back. So to see what a cash offer on your house could look like, visit Staten Island Foreclosures, that info. It's a simple and efficient way to explore your options without any obligation to sell. I'll have a link for you in the description below for your convenience. So let's also examine this from the buyer's perspective. As a potential buyer, short sales offer an opportunity to purchase a property below market value. However, navigating this process requires patience and strategic planning. So you have to work with a skilled agent An experienced real estate agent can help you identify suitable short sale properties and guide you through the bidding process. But you have to be prepared for delays understanding that short sales can take several months to finalize if you plan to move into your new house by a specific time short sales are likely not going to work for you because patience is crucial and they could get denied making a competitive offer be sure your offer is reasonable and backed by market data global offers are less likely to be accepted so don't expect miracles you need to stay flexible, be open to negotiations, and willing to accommodate the bank's requests for appraisals, inspections, and additional documentations. And beware of potential pitfalls. While short sales can seem like a great deal on the surface, there are potential pitfalls that every buyer should be aware of before proceeding. And for more insights, watch my video, Short Sale, Buyer Beware. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more real estate insights. Don't forget to check out the recommended videos I just spoke about. They are what is a short sale on your house, your mortgage payment is late, here's what to do, and short sales, buyer beware. And if you're considering selling your home for cash and want to explore your options with absolutely no obligation to sell, visit statlandforeclosures.info to see what a cash offer on your house could look like. Stay tuned for our next video where we will dive into FHA short sales and conventional financing short sales. And I will see you next time.